antonyms and synonyms. I'm going to tell you what antonyms and synonyms are. Antonyms are words that have opposite meaning, like big and small. Synonyms have same meaning, like beautiful and pretty. Now I'm going to make a chart or art using antonyms and synonyms. First of all, we're going to need some colorful paper that is so pretty and also way much better than some white paper. Glue, Elmer's glue or any glue. And also some white paper, white paper sheets and also some scissors. Careful what you are doing this because scissors are dangerous. Well, I'm already seven, but I know what to do. Scissors are very dangerous and don't touch this while you're using them. Only touch the safe part. Okay? Remember that kids when you do this. Okay. We're going to use antonyms to do this. First of all, we're going to use the colorful paper first and then some scissors also. We're going to cut the colorful paper into small rectangle, not too small, kind of like this, like this. We're going to cut them and then we're going to use pink paper and blue paper. The blue paper is for the synonyms and also the pink paper is for the antonyms. We're going to cut it and use the glue to paste. Of course, my mom already prints something already and also we're going, you can also use some stickers for decoration, but make sure there's no white around it. You can actually buy some stickers, which is already easy, or you can just put some decorations. It's going to be good. And also, you see, there's already some project that my mom prints. Okay, guys, we're done doing our art. It's so cool and neat and also clean, tidy, and also nice. And those I already put the glue away and also we all we have to do is just write the words the same words first we're going to start with synonyms of course i used the blue already and guys i'm going to actually write the words using a permanent mark permanent marker it's actually small bad but for the shot for some art. Writing, doodling, it's just the same guy kind of thing. Okay, I'm done with the first one. Now it's time for this one. This is not so bad, even when the markers look bad. Careful with this, okay? You might do a mistake using this. I'm using this, this marker so that it's clear. And also, Already clear to see, easy to see, and also it's a dark. You know, you can also do some cool activities with your family or you can do it alone. Of course, you can do it by yourself, but your mom is always the better one. Or your dad. If they have time for you to video this, to video your own doing or creating, you can spend time with your brother and sister if they have time. Spending time with your family is very important. Remember, being a kid is, and also being a a adult can't last forever, but 
and also being young, but a family will still be worth it to last forever. You know, your family is the most important thing around you. And also your, your uncles, cousins, everyone that you know. Your family, your friends, they're your, your making happy. You know, they're your happiness. And also they're your love and also feelings. Make sure you, make sure you, make sure you love them, and also make sure you take care of them, cause they care, they take care of you, and they love you so much. So love them always. Make sure that you remember what your family does for you. Just the last one. Okay, we're done with the synonyms that have same meaning. Yeah. We're already done, see? It's neat, clean, and also beautiful. Now we're going to go with antonyms, which have opposite meaning. See? Okay, now I'm going to write. Oh, that was see. Your family loves you. I remember that. For the next one. Guys, you know art is everything. It's so pretty and beautiful. Of course you can mess up, but don't mess up everything you made already and prepared. You don't want your mom having a hard time. And I'm already done. You thought that wouldn't never end? Well, wrong. I did everything. So cool, right? Synonyms, antonyms, check, check, and check. Okay. Since I'm done with my creation, my art of using antonyms and synonyms, who wants to be my class? It's okay, you can all be my class, whoever is watching this show, of course. I'm gonna be your teacher. Okay, class, at the home. My name is Teacher Amelie at your service. I'm gonna teach you about antonyms and synonyms. First, what are antonyms and synonyms again? Well, since I'm your teacher, I'm going to teach you what are they again. If you forgot, in case. Okay. Antonyms are opposite in meaning. Like above, below. Front, back. Got that? Happy, sad. Okay, now it's here. Big, small. Clean, dirty. I don't want to be dirty. Okay, now we're going to go with synonyms. Synonyms are words that have same in meaning as so, like jump or leap, kid or child, laugh or giggle, 
create or make. See it clear? Tidy or neat. This is also tidy, right? You see it? Kind or nice. I am feeling nice. Count. You feeling nice? Are you nice? Noisy or loud? Stay loud. Gift or present? My heart is for you. Pretty or beautiful? Just like the woman out there who are watching this. Quiet or silent? Sad or unhappy? I don't want to be unhappy. Tired or sleepy? Oh, excuse me out there. Now we're done. Do you, did you like the video? Well, click a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. God bless you to all. Bye-bye. I love you guys. Thank you for watching my channel. Do you want to do this? Well, you can also watch my channel. Just click Abby ATV. I'll help you. A B B Y A T V. Okay. But I love you guys. Bye. Thank you for subscribing here. Bye. Off to off to go now. Bye.